me to Addy, I pull up. They thought I was lacking, I stood up. Reloaded like Tony, I'm too much. I don't have it in me to give up. I won't ever stop cause I'm too clutch. You get in the way and get hit up. I go to the pump and I fill up. No drilling, just getting my skill up. Hey, send me. One thing about your spirit, when it's good and you shining and you glowing, it's going to irritate a lot of people. It's going to irritate a lot of people with bad spirits, baby. You're going to wake Lucifer up himself. Lucifer sister, Lucifer niece, Lucifer mama, Lucifer brother, Lucifer woman. Like, you're going to wake up the Lucifers. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know, baby. Because people don't like to see you in good spirit. People don't like you to be walking around smiling, looking good, and, and just having this, this, this thing about you that people can see that she is truly at peace with herself. So, something about that glow. I just can't put my finger on it. It's just something about the way she glowing and shining. And when she walk in the room, others just gravitate to her energy because it's so good. Baby. <laughs> Don't worry about my high pro glow. Worry about how you need to get your glow on. Because, baby, I done glowed up. <laughs> I done glowed up, baby. Ting. Tingling, ling, ling, ling. Okay, baby, I shine when it ain't no sun outside. Baby, I'm still shining. <laughs> Put some respect on my name, okay? So your good spirit is going to irritate somebody with a bad spirit. Just know that. But that ain't your problem. You can't worry about that. That's a more of them problem, not a you problem. So they got to deal with that and work on their spirit and get that thing right. Hello? Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Listen, we getting through this day. You know, it's been a good one thus far. Hopefully, y'all's uh, been pretty stellar. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm on my last little break or whatnot. I was going to show y'all the sun in the backdrop, but, you know, Got a little cloudy now, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but it feel good out here, bro. Feel good out here. Make sure y'all getting outside, getting some fresh air or whatnot. But man, real quick though, I had to show y'all that clip from Lena So Sexy. Shout out to Lena So Sexy. You know what I mean? Go follow her on TikTok. She got a lot of good videos. You know what I mean? You know, putting it down for the queens out there. So shout out to her, man, you know, because she absolutely right though. You know, your spirit will definitely irritate a lot of people, especially, you know, when they in darkness, you know what I mean? Especially, you know, when they on that broad path, especially when they of this world, you know? You know, because you so different now, because you in the spirit and because you've been renewed and because you close to the most high, you know, because you walking with the Hamashiach in your heart, bro, listen, you know, you gonna stand out. You know, a lot of us, you know, dealt with it when we was on this journey, you know what I mean? And still dealing with it, you know, to this day. And I say when we was, cause at first it was more crazier when I first, when I first started this journey, bro. You know, it was just like, yo, like, I mean, it was just so many, but I think a lot of people have gotten used to, you know, my better version, the better version of me, because guess what? We just gonna continue to get better out here. You know, we gonna continue to shine brighter. The longer we stay with the Most High, the longer we stay in His truth, the longer we keep on praising Him and, you know, learning His ways and acknowledging Him in all our ways. Listen, bro, we just gonna get brighter and brighter out here. But understand though, as you get brighter, bro, you know, you gonna run into some people that's just irritated by your presence, irritated by your energy. Irritated by your shine, irritated by your light, irritated by your intelligence. You know what I mean? Irritated by your glow. Everything about you, bruh, is gonna irritate they demons, man. You know what I mean? And that's indication for them, but they don't see it that way. You know, because a lot of times when you got people that get irritated by you, it's because of the darkness that's in them. It's because of the areas in their life that they not 
they haven't worked on. You know, they may be still going through some things. They may still be in darkness. They still may be struggling. And they don't understand that we still be struggling too. But, you know, we put, you know, we put a lot of our weight that was on us. We put that, we gave that to the most high. See, but you got a lot of people that refuse to do that. And because they keeping all of that weight on them, they keeping that resentment, you know, they keeping that hate on them. You know, they still out here of this world, you know. So, you know, they a part of these circles and crews that be gossiping and, you know what I mean? Just doing all of this stuff that's out here, bro. So, you know, they stand in perpetual darkness. You know what I mean? They stand in perpetual bondage like we was in, bro. But when we got on this journey, when we got on this truth, when we got in that word, you know, that's what gave us peace and, and what broke us away from that bondage. That's what helped us take them chains off. You know what I mean? Take them, you know what I mean? Them them, them dark, deep, demonic holds that was on us off. You know what I mean? You know, the Most High helped us do that by seeking His face. You know what I mean? Continually. You know, and by praising Him. You know what I mean? By acknowledging the sun, you know what I mean? That's what relieved us of a lot of the things that most people still going through. And because they see you, you know, you got to think about it like, you know, like when you see like some of these movies, you know, some of the slave movies or whatnot. You know, you think about the movie Django. When Django came around with the white guy, you know, Django on the horse, Django got on the suit. You know what I mean? And the black people couldn't believe it. The other sla the slaves that was around, they couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? You know, you had Stevie, Samuel L. Jackson character hating on him and all of that stuff because he was free. So you got to understand, bro, like, when you free out here, bro, you're going to have some people that's still in bondage that's going to hate on you, that's going to not going to like you because them demons is still in them. They still fighting. They still in darkness. You know what I mean? And some of them ain't even fighting. They didn't gave themselves all the way, you know what I'm saying, to Satan. You know, and they still be hating. They didn't gave themselves all the way to Satan. And they still hating on you because of your life. Mad at you because you didn't sell your soul. Mad at you because you ain't sell your birthright. Mad at you because you, you doing what you needed to do to secure your salvation, bruh. And still ongoing, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Because we understand. We know the assignment. Ain't that how the saying going? You know, we know the assignment now. We know that it's just bigger. We know that it's bigger than this life. You know what I mean? We know that it's bigger than, you know, what people think around us and all of that stuff. We know that it's bigger than money. It's bigger than women. We know that it's bigger than just having these worldly things. We know that it's bigger than that. You know what I'm saying? Because the Most High told us to work out our own salvation. And that's exactly what we doing. See, and people get it messed up. They think just because you went to the Word, just because you're getting closer to the Most High, like, as if, like, oh, okay, that just mean that we supposed to live a, a terrible life here. No, that we have peace here. We get to enjoy this place. We get to enjoy the Most High's marvelous works. You know, we get to enjoy us because the Most High made us. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they got the complete opposite. They think we boring. You know what I'm saying? They think that we just Bible thumpers and, you know, don't ain't, ain't living and ain't enjoying. No, that's not, that's not true. You know what I mean? If anything, we enjoying it more because when we was more into this world and, and, and taking in all of this demonic, dark, fake stuff, you know, we really thought we was having fun in that, but we realized that it was really destroying us. And that's what people have. That's It's that reprobate mind to where they look at you and they think that you out of whack. They look at you and think that you ain't got nothing, that you born, that you lame. They look at you and look like you just miserable, but that's not the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's not the truth. And it's... The only reason they think that is because you're not doing bad things like you used to. You're not doing dark things like they are. You know what I'm saying? And because you're not a part of that clique, not a part of that circle, not a part of that broad path, they look at you like you're losing, but you're really winning. You got to understand you really winning because you're not sinning. you really winning because you in the spirit. you really winning because you got oil in your lap. You really went in, bro, because you're working out your own salvation and you got a relationship with the most high. You know what I'm saying? You acknowledging the chief priest, the priest, our big brother Hamashiach. 
You know what I'm saying? And you learning from him, walking like him, talking like him. You know what I mean? Because they don't know that we come in the body of Christ, see? You know what I'm saying? It's more than us just wearing a cross around our neck. That's why we had to take off them graven images. You know what I'm saying? Because they think that just because they got a cross around their neck, that they good. They think that just, just because, you know what I mean, they believe, you know, or so-called believe that they good. Nah, bruh. You know, we doing that James 1 and 22, bruh. We not just being ye hearers of the word, bruh. We being doers of this. You know what I'm saying? And right now, we really living now. We really living now. We live, we more alive than we ever have been because we have peace. You know, these other folks, man, that's in darkness, bro, them the ones that be full of fear. You know, why you think they over there? Why you think they doing the things of this world? Because they scared of what other people going to think about them. Why you think they don't talk about the most high? Because they scared what other people going to say about them. Why you think that they ain't praising the Hamashiach? Because they scared what other people going to feel about them. That's why. They scared to be good, but you not scared to be good. You know, you done been bad already. You ain't scared to be good now. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, they just don't, they just don't get it, bro, because it's flip-flop for them. It's pancake with them. That's why they to and fro. And they don't know where they going in life. They don't know where they going in the spirit. They don't, and it ain't no truth in them, bro. Because they don't know who they are. They can't even trust they self. But they say they real. But they saying they real. But they saying they real, bro. You can't be real when you so a part of this fake world. How you real? You can't say you real when you taking in all of this fake things. Y'all out here drinking for fake energy. You know what I'm saying? You out here full of fake love. You know what I mean? You a part of these groups that don't even really rock with you. But you're saying you're real. But you don't even see that you faking the deal, bro. You know what I'm saying? We not faking over here, bruh. You know? You know, being with the most high is real as it get. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we got to stay in this truth, bro. And that's why we lit. And that's why they going to stay mad at you, bruh. Because they lit and they ain't it. You know what I'm saying? That you lit and they ain't it, bruh. You know? So that's why we got to keep on going, bruh. Because the only lit they own... Is the lit that they butt gonna be when they go to that lake of fire for how they doing, how they living, how they treating people. You know what I'm saying? How they stay in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? That's what's gonna send, that's what's gonna send them up that river. You know? While we be delivered. That's what's gonna send them up that river while we being delivered, bruh. So we gotta stay on it, man. We gotta stay on it, man, and not pay them no never mind, bro. That's why we can't just be, you know, we just can't be. You know, letting people get a reaction out of us, bro, because that's what they want to do. That's what Satan want to do. Satan use these folks because they empty vessels to try to get a react out of God's chosen, out of Yah's chosen. You know what I mean? What you think, Satan, what, that's, that's, they empty vessels, bro, so Satan able to use them and they don't think that they in bondage. They addicted to all these things out here, but they don't think they in bondage. Satan come calling them every rip and they gotta go. And they don't think they in bondage, getting used and abused. You know what I'm saying? Don't even know why they don't like certain people. Don't even know why they feel hate. Don't even know why they so envious, but Satan to go ahead and send them. You know what I mean? Don't even know why they can't stop chasing these women. Don't even know why they addicted to darkness, but Satan to go ahead and send them. You know what I'm saying? They stay blitzing. You know what I'm saying? They, they stay blitzing, bruh. And they always missing, bruh. They gonna miss every target, bruh. Because they blitzing and they missing. And listen, bruh. They ain't got no commitment. They ain't committed to the most high. They ain't committed to they self. They ain't committed to the truth. They ain't committed to this light. They ain't committed to getting right. So guess what, bro? It's just a matter of time before they be out of sight. And we ain't going, bruh. And that's my word, man. My name is JC and the Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.